This video will tell you all you need to know about earthquakes. What causes earthquakes? The earth is made up of four layers. The inner core, outer core, mantle and crust. The mantle and crust are a thin skin. The mantle is about 1,800 miles thick while the crust is only 8 miles thick. This thin skin is broken into pieces called tectonic plates. The plates are like puzzle pieces floating on top of the Earth's inner core. Sometimes the pieces slide on or against each other and become stuck. When the pieces slide apart, they create tremendous force. The force causes the Earth to shake and ripple. How do you measure earthquakes? Instruments called seismographs are used to measure how large the earthquake was. The instrument uses a weighted pen and a spring. And the vibrations from the earthquake makes the pen draw lines onto some paper. A short wiggly line that doesn't wiggle very much means a small earthquake. And a long wiggly line that wiggles a lot means a large earthquake. What is the Richter scale? Scientists measure earthquakes using the Richter scale. This scale invented in 1944 by California scientist Charles Richter measures the magnitude of an earthquake and a result is a number to, from 0 to 10. It's measured on a machine called a seismograph. The larger the number on the scale, the larger the earthquake. You don't even notice an earthquake unless it measures at least a three on the scale. Here is what might happen at each stage of the scale. Four could shake your house. Some people might not notice. Stuff will fall off the shelves. Walls in some houses may crack and windows break. 7. Weaker buildings will collapse and cracks will occur in bridges and on the street. 8. Many buildings and bridges will fall down. Large cracks will appear in the earth. 9. And up, whole cities could be flattened and there will be a lot of damage. Water says McWeaves. Shock waves from an earthquake that travel through the ground are called seismic waves. They are most powerful at the centre of the earthquake. 
they, but they travel through much of the earth and back to the surface. They move quickly at 20 times the speed of sound. What is a fault line? Earthquakes are formed along fault lines. This is an area of stress in the earth. At fault lines, the ro rocks are sliding past each other. They will eventually cause a crack in the earth's surface. Foreshocks and aftershocks. Before and after a large earthquake, there will be smaller earthquakes. The ones that happen before are called foreshocks. The ones that happen after are called aftershocks. What are the epicenter and focus of earthquakes? The epicenter is the point on the Earth's surface directly above where the rocks erupted. The focus of the earthquake is where the rocks actually ruptured. The, the focus is often miles beneath the Earth's surface. What do I do in an earthquake? During an earthquake, drop, cover and hold on! Stay indoors until the shaking stops. Stay away from windows. If you are in bed, hold on and stay there. Protect your head with a pillow. If you're outdoors, find a clear spot away from buildings or trees and power lines. Then drop to the ground. If you're in a car, slow down and drive to a safe place. Stay in the car until the shaking stops. I hope you enjoyed our earthquake video and have learned a lot. Don't forget to visit us at www.learningmo.com.